in this video so I could tell my story and I could explain to everyone just how I got here. Um, I was actually born in Slovakia and um, that's where the Klapova comes from. When I was four, my family moved to England and when I was seven, we moved to Ireland. So I was basically brought up in Ireland. Um, I'm one of five, so I've got three sisters and one brother. My first language is Slovakian and my second language is English and I'm learning to make my Spanish fluent. So I'm trying to perfect that. Um, when I was younger, I've always been quite body conscious. This is how my brain works. If I look good, then I feel good. Everybody's different, but that's just how my brain works. Now, when I was growing up, I developed a eating disorder. At one stage, I started putting on weight really fast and I really didn't like it. I resolved to bulimia, which is making yourself sick. So I would binge on food and then go and make myself sick. I was also going through a stressful time in my life. My dad was in hospital a lot. He suffers from depression. So I kind of went through that bad phase and somehow making myself sick um, gave me that control. Although I never worked and I was never happy. The sad thing is I never told my friends and I never told my family. Nobody knew what was going on. And um, the fact that I overcame it made me stronger. And um, although it's always going to be part of me, it's always going to be there in the back of my head, you know, that quick fix. And um, it's part of my journey, so I had to share it. Fitness actually helped me control it and it gave me a lot more awareness of, you know, just because you eat a lot doesn't mean that you're going to pile on the weight straight away. That control is why I fell in love with fitness also. My mom is my hero. She brought up five of us. Um, I love her two bits. My dad's a super funny guy, although he suffers from depression, which I found uh, would affect me as I grew older. Um, I still suffer from depression in the winters. It gets really hard. Uh, working out helps me control that also. It's always going to be part of me too. And I always have to make sure that I have a workout if I am feeling down. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but sometimes that workout actually makes me feel better, even if just temporarily. Um, depression is part of me and it's part of my journey too. I don't really talk about this either to everyone, but it is a big part of me and it's part of my struggle and it's part of what makes me stronger too. Um, a lot of people suffer with depression and you can't really tell by looking at someone necessarily that they're gonna, you know, that they're depressed, but it is out there and you can look like the happiest person in the world and still be affected by depression. Winters are the worst for me, um, but I have to try and control it and try and work with it. You know, it's part of my life now. When I was 18, I left the flock me and my friend decided to do a season abroad in Mallorca. I started off as a bar girl and then finished off as a shop girl. Um, I met some amazing girls there, some of the strongest characters, charismatic women. And this is where I actually gained my confidence. So what I used to do was I used to save and then I used to travel. In the summer, I would work and in the winter, I would travel. And I went to Cambodia and to Thailand with my friends. I went to Thailand and Vietnam with my sister, my brother and my bestie. And I traveled a lot of America and South America with my brother and my sister. Um, I aim to travel even more and even more places. I've traveled a lot of Europe as well. Um, this is something that I get a lot of life experience from and I absolutely love. Although now it's not possible with restrictions and I haven't had a holiday in four years. When I was 24, I decided to stop working in the nightlife and focus on myself a little bit more. I always knew I wanted to be a personal trainer. I would train my friends in Tenerife. Um, although I couldn't speak Spanish, I couldn't do my course there. Um, I also developed a better relationship with food. The control that I had with fitness and food was a lot better. It also helped me deal with my depression as working out made me feel so much better. Two years ago, I moved to Woking to do my personal training course. I didn't know anyone here and I had never been to Anytime Fitness, which is the gym I work in currently. The first time I actually went there was the first time I'd ever been there and that's when I spoke to the manager about a job. I moved here in July. I qualified as a PT in August. Um, and then we were hit with COVID in March. So my first experience as a PT was probably not the best. Although, listen, I made it work and I accepted the challenge and I overcame it. I just believe that, you know, if you want something to happen, you have to make it work. Lockdown taught me a lot of life lessons. 
The main one being, if you really want something, you gotta work your ass for it, and there's no quick fix. You just have to work really hard. I love training my clients, and I love my online coaching, and um, I love showing people just the progress they can get, you know, with a bit of assistance, and I absolutely love when they get confident and they see the results that they can get with a bit of help. Because I've acquired this knowledge, it's really nice that I can share it and I can show people just how they can apply it in their lives. I really love the relationships I've created with my clients and it's a really nice feeling that I'm part of their journey and that they've picked me to be part of their journey. I can't imagine doing anything else. Uh, fitness is my life. It's completely consumed me and I am so grateful for it. I've seen nothing but great results and great things happen. I'm really happy that I did power through lockdown and I'm really grateful for the progress I've achieved. I've got big plans for the future, so I'm really happy about that. So hopefully this has given you an insight as to who I am. Um, my story hasn't ended. It's got a long way to go still. Um, I thought I would share just so you know you could know your coach and get a bit of an insight as to who I am. My journey is part of me and it makes me who I am. So I'm grateful for all the experiences as I've learned a lot from them. I hope you enjoyed this and my story.